Okay, guys. Let's look. Okay, so this is what we're going to do today in the classroom. We're going to put together our standards for our team. Okay? So, and those standards are, have to be derived or come from you guys. So you guys are going to think about what you want your team to look like, what you expect from yourself and what you expect from your teammates. And then we're going to delve into that and dive deeper into what that really looks like. And then you guys have kind of come up with ways that we can hold each other accountable to that. Okay? Does that make sense? So, the first thing we've got to do is identify behaviours that you guys want to see from yourselves and you guys want to see from your teammates. So, for example, if I said to you, McKay, when you come to practice and you see your teammates and they're playing, come in, Ben. What kind of behaviours would you expect to see out of them? Yeah, answer. Okay, so I'm passing, okay, alright. Anyone can answer the question. What behaviours, if you were coming away from a good session or a good game and your team plays well or they trained really well, what behaviours might you have seen from your team? Okay, so like positive interactions, yeah, okay. Being happy, having fun. Okay, joy, good, love it. Working hard. Working hard, okay, so they're just some examples, guys. They're just some examples. So, one person jump off that table to Ben's table for me. Two people jump off that table onto Ben's table for me. They could not wait to leave your table. By the way. They were like, right, gone, I'm gone. Okay? And I'm going to set a timer. And you've got post it notes and pens on your table. I want to, you to write down all the things that you would want to see from your teammates or expect from yourself. Hey, continue to listen. And you can go write down all the behaviors on the post it notes. These are post-it notes, by the way. As many as you can come up with, things that you want to see from your team, just in your groups. I'm going to give you five minutes to do that, okay? Go. Guys, don't just write down, share your ideas with people yeah. on your group. Communicate with people in your group. Are you talking about your children? I said positive communication, working hard, days on time, and competing. You know, it's sort of like before, I'm just saying, and then I could continue. And then I also. Thank you. 
I was working on your mom outside of practice. What did you write in the book? Where 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 did you write in the book? I'm not scared of touching it. So I wasn't. Right. And then I had to go to the end of this page. Wait, are we putting these sticky notes in our like? So just keep them in the middle for now, and then we're going we're gonna to go put them on the wall. What if it doesn't stick? I want it. Because, like, it's old. It's old. And grab a new one, they should all stick. They're not bad. It'll stick just like it. Yeah. It's sticking to your finger, I can see that. Oh, it's six. It's six. <laughs> you made Scott walk all the way over. There. All the way. He needed a good workout. He's been drinking that, all that rock star. <laughs> <laughs> Scott is a rock star. Thanks, good point. We're going to play ball the minutes now. <laughs> Beckham. He's in yeah. ball. He's on the bench. I can't. Huh? <laughs> what? I can't. He's in the bench for work. Okay. I'm not talking about that. I don't know. I'm going to be a Okay, I'll give you two more minutes, guys. Discuss, share your thoughts and opinions. Categories, okay. Come up with a word for that category, 
and then write that word in here. In divine variables? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Mark your pens, guys. Are here. Work together. Off you go. You've got five minutes. Okay, I'm all right. I'm writing. Huh? Yeah, okay. You've got three writers. You've got a group of writers. I know. I've got three writers. Hey, you guys should be up and over here. We're not hard. You don't need your book. Okay, so let's find all the work in hard way. I'll do communication. I'll do communication. Okay, I'll do positive. Yeah. So what would be the best way to, guys, just listen one second. Okay, Bracky, Ben, apart from comparing the world's biggest handwriting to the world's smallest handwriting, what would be the first thing that we, uh, hey, I'm joking, what would, the, what would be the first thing that you need to do? Look at the name! You need to go through all the things that you said before you can write anything down. Because you need to pick, I want five. I'll be more specific. Five things that you write up there that you guys have chosen. So guys, first, okay. that's it. Working hard, let's group all the working hard ones into a category. Did you find I find it very So much more difficult than that. Yeah, but we need to put all them in the one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not writing them. Yeah, you guys messed up. Yeah, you're not writing them. How could you write yourself? Because that's a category. Guys, 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 guys. Scott, you're an eraser. My hand is orange. Oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, no. find the work hard. Everything. Just use your shirt. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, there's I one more hard. What do you want? Um, <laughs> Oh, 
have fun, be committed, be competitive, make goals. All right, so this is your task on your tables in your groups. And you can write your answers down on paper after you've discussed them. I want you to really clearly define what working hard means to you guys in a practice setting and in a game setting. So when you think about if Boston looks at Bracken and thinks, did Bracken work hard today? Or even if Boston just thinks, did I work hard today? What is the criteria of that? What has to happen for him to be considered working hard? And do the same for have fun, do the same for be competitive, do the same for be committed, do the same for make goals. Yes, Ben? On a post-it note? No, 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 no. Now you can just use your notepad. You just have to define what each of those categories mean to you. Okay? Off you go. Get rid of the notes. 
Let's define what hard work means to you. Go. Okay. Okay. So that's a good starting point. Let's try and be really specific. So give 100%. But what does that actually look like? Um, so if you lose the ball, you immediately win it back. Okay. So, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase the thing you say. So effort to win the ball back. Okay, like that, good. Um, not the ball making decision. Okay. Good, all right. Boss? Okay. What does that mean? As in, specifically actions that me and Nick and your teammates can see you do. Work for your team, so if they make a mistake, work for it, and don't be down, like just work for your team. Okay. So recover for teammates. Good, okay. Tillman? Oh, uh, Jake, take the time to like, add a sprint, try and get open and find the ball and then distribute it well. Don't just do like, a sloppy pass or something. Okay. And distribute so, the ball well and get open. Okay. Quickly, okay. Okay, okay. I think I think that kind of falls in the under there. So yeah, but you said some things. Okay, no, it's very good. Dilly dilly. Teamwork and positive What does teamwork okay. What what would team just give me some action to be involved in teamwork? Okay, so I'm gonna put a slash supporting movement. Any more that's missing, because you've got, basically you've got here, 100% means putting, when we don't have the ball, effort to win it back. If a teammate makes a mistake and they are out of position, you look to recover and help them recover that mistake. When we do have the ball, you want to get on the ball as much as possible, and you provide supporting movements, where it's forward runs to feet, and you do it all at a high tempo if possible. Yeah. Uh, just maybe we can add like outside of practical games, doing your own stuff at home or wherever. Okay. Anyone think we're missing anything off that de definition of hard work? Um, you see yourself? So you don't overwork yourself? I'm really not concerned if you're overworking yourself um, at, at this point. If we get to that point, I'll let you know. <laughs> Yeah. Not wanting to lose, you're not just letting it go past you. Oh, it's okay, we'll do it next time. It's you not so competitive. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, all right, let's take it. I think that's a very, very good start. So, next one, I'm just going to pick three because we went up time. So, the have. Mm. Ooh, okay, have fun. Go, what does that mean? K Dog. Okay. What do you enjoy about soccer? Like having fun activities with your teammates outside of like games and Oh, he asked. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Outside interactions. Okay. What about specific to practice and games, boss? Oh, so come off the field and smile on your face. What would make you come off the field with a smile on your face? Oh, good. So I'm going to write self-satisfaction, do you know what that means? Yeah. Feeling good about yourself, because you have done your best. Is that, and this is personal to you, is that determined, that self-satisfaction, that good feeling when you come off the field, is that determined for you, and it's be personal, so some might say yes, some might say no, 
Is that determined by whether you had a great goal where you scored three goals, you brought players into play, you rarely lost the ball, or could you still have that good feeling if your passes were crap, your shots were crap, um, but you did your best in those moments and it just wasn't falling for you? Does that make sense? Uh-huh. What do you think, Dylan, for I would you? Say I would could you have... still come off smiling? Yeah, I would because like, I would try my best to make the best decisions okay. in that situation. Okay, all right. All right, so carry on with half fun. Ben, is that what you've got your hand up for? Oh, uh, no, I was just going to answer. Go on then. Oh, I, okay, I think that, okay, I, I, I think that you should have a smile when you walk off and you don't, when you don't, when you try your hardest, but maybe you play crappy. Yeah. But I kind of do, not, I'm kind of mad when I play crappy. Okay. So I think we want to, we want to, Try your hardest, but you want to make it happen. You can't. You can't. You can like, be happy. Oh, you tried your hardest, but say next time this is how I need to be. Yeah, better. next time this is your time. Okay. Uh, you can't make the excuse that you were trying your hardest, but you kind of just like do it. You're just making that excuse. Well, I tried my hardest, like. Right. Can't use them as a as a cop out. Okay. Let's go back to let's go back to having fun. Define what fun is for you guys in practices and games. What do you enjoy doing? When you come off and you feel good about yourselves and you said that was fun. Why is it fun? Is it fun where I just chucked you out there, said pennies and go dick around for a little bit. Mess around for a little bit. <laughs> that's not that's not the right word where like I'm teacher. Wrong. <laughs> So learning. Everyone, anyone disagree with learning? Uh, okay, anything else? Have fun. Define what is fun for you, Beckham. Getting touches on the ball. Okay. Okay. Uh, Keenan? Okay, so it's fun being good. <laughs> ben? Uh, I think it's not to learn, but being able to do what you learn and feeling confident with what you learn. Are you a Love that. Yes. But no, I'm not. I'm the teacher's devil. Okay. Well, I'm not a uh, devil. Okay. Okay, I like that. So competing. Guys, we're nearly done, so just stay concentrated. So, for having fun, and we'll move on. For having fun, you've talked about being good, having success, goals, saves for Keenan, etc. You've talked about self-satisfaction because you feel like you worked as hard as you possibly could, regardless of the result. Talk about learning, and Ben had a really good point. Feeling confident that you have learned and then implementing stuff that you have learned. Okay, and Beckham had a good point. Loads of touches on the ball. These all link if we look. Wanting to get on the ball, putting the hard work in will help you have fun. Touches on the ball is what you enjoy. And then a really good one from McKay, competing. I think that you enjoy competing against people when it's competitive. Okay. So that's very good. We're going to do one more. We are going to do. We are going to do be committed. So define what being committed means in you. Okay, go. Press. I'll try better next time. Uh, 
and maybe next week we'll do goals and be competitive. Let's just, for today, I'm going to focus on working hard. We've defined what working hard looks like, the things that we can see. So if I'm saying to you guys, are you working hard enough, and I'm seeing effort to win the ball back when we don't have it, effort to recover for teammates, players always and constantly showing, moving and wanting the ball, okay? then I'll be like, yeah, the group's working really hard. What if the group is, this is your question, to talk in your groups, I'll give you two minutes to have a discussion. If I don't see these things, what would you like me to do to help hold you accountable? What should be the, um, what should be the reprimand? What should be, what should happen? How would you like me to hold you accountable to work your hard? Talk in your groups, two minutes. Sometimes individual. Okay, let's, okay. Sometimes. All right. So, any other ways that we can hold you guys I accountable? Not at the standard yeah. that we need it to be at, that yeah, we don't move the, on. Yeah, we don't move on, we stay with right. that until it's to the our standard. Until it's good enough. Yeah. Oh my So that would mean like so we get we're doing a we're doing a tack v defense. And you guys want to get to the scrimmage at the end, but the hard work isn't in there in attack v defense. You're okay with we don't move on. Our session might finish attack v defense, we never get to the full game. Okay? Keenan. Oh, uh, motivation. Wait, what? What? Okay, how? How can I hold you accountable? Well, if you motivate us, maybe we can start doing better. How would you like me to motivate you? What should I do? You should do better. 
Yeah. You know, I have a think about that, you know. Well, kind of just like remind us or like kind of so would you I think that's a good one so rather than me go guys you're not working hard telling you off for it should there be a reminder should there be okay so what I will do how about this is I will ask you guys to reflect on this and give me a yes or no okay so see if you guys can identify whether you're working hard or not Okay? Oh. Any others? Any other ways? Any other ideas? Do you think I should be the person who finally decides that or do you think it should be a team? Design? What does cinnamon mean? Cinnamon is, is like, like when you get sucked out and you come back. back. I like sent off that you like can Like we've done that in soccer. If you kick it out, you have to go think about what you did for like five minutes. Right. But at this time, like five minutes. Even when I kicked it out, I got the whole thing. Yeah, 30 seconds. Okay, but who should decide that? Should that be me or you guys? You. You. Both. Oh. 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 I can draw. We should draw. Scott, you boy. Come on, should be. Okay. Guys, I think you've done good and we're uh, Hold on. We're on the field. This is what I need you to go do. There are boxes out there, two groups, two in the middle of each box, rondos, straight away. Let's go. Let's go, guys, 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 guys